Hi, my name is Katie and I, and I will be reading you The Circus Ship by Chris Van du Dusen. You want to show them the front? The Circus Ship Author and Illustrator Five miles off the coast of Maine is slightly overdue. A circus ship was steaming south and fog as thick as stew. On board were 15 animals animals who traveled to and fro. The next day, it was Boston for another circus show. The captain, Mr. Carrington, was honest and sincere. He thought that they should drop the hook and wait for things to clean. But Mr. Payne, the circuit boss, was terribly demanding. He stopped. He stomped up to the helm where Captain Harrington, where Captain Carrington was standing, and screamed, "Don't stop! Keep going! I've got a ship to do. Just get me down to Boston to town tomorrow, sir, by two." Then came a crash, an awful bash. Things flew into the air. The ship had smashed into a ledge that no one knew was there. The shattered ship began to tip, then sank without a sound. The splashing, thrashing animals swam around. Round and round and round. The captain said to Mr. Payne, Pray tell, what shall we do? We can't just leave them here to drown. We've got to save them too. The animals? yelled Mr. Payne. Why, sir, what are you daft? It's me that you should rescue. Put me up into the raft. Now ferry me to safety, sir, before I die of cold. Don't question me, barked Mr. Payne. Just do as you are told. Through, through chilly water, water all night long, the animals swam on until they reached an island breach just before the dawn. They pulled themselves up onto the shore, bedraggled, cold, and beat then staggered to the village on weary wobbly feet don't forget to show the pictures the people in the neighborhood had just began to rise and when they saw those animals they had to rub their eyes they thought they saw an elephant but wait how could that be and what's that little monkey doing in that in the cherry tree? Soon animals were everywhere and into any everything. There's an ostrich in the outhouse. There's a hippo in the spring. There's a tiger in the tulips. There's a lion on the lawn. There's a python in the pantry. It went on and on. And on. Mr. Hood was stacking wood and nearly jumped a mile when he found the alligator sleeping on his pile. And Miss Dottie Daly, who grew daisies by the bunch discovered that the zebra had been eating them for lunch. And Miss Fanny Feeny found, according to the rumors, the silly little circus men 
monkey swinging in her bloomers. But everything changed quickly, like the turning tide. The night the abbot shed caught fire with Emma Rose inside. High above the abbot's farm, the tiger saw the shed. The sight of smoke and fire triggered something in his head. He jumped through flames a thousand times back in his circus days. He ran past the people and he leapt into the blaze. Then everybody panicked, help, help, what can we do? When from the raging fire, something burst into view. It was the most amazing sight and everybody froze. When the, they saw the tiger saving little Emma Rose. <laughs> Go tiger! The tiger's risky rescue changed everybody's mind. The animals weren't bothersome, the animals were kind. They, and so they lived together side by side. They got along and it didn't seem like anything could pl possibly go wrong. The little red the me then little red the messenger boy came running with the word. Apparently a circus ship had sunken from what he heard. The animals were from that boat. They swam in from the bay. If the greedy owner wants them back, he'll be here any day. So the people called a meeting and quickly hatched a plan. No animal that came ashore would sail off with that man. The next day at the crack of dawn, a ship was at the pyre. And up the lane marched Mr. Payne, whose voice was loud and clear. I am the circus owner. My ship sank in the murk. I've come to find my animals and put them back to work. He hiked, un he hiked until he came into the center of the town. His face was red. He scratched his head. He stood there with a frown. Mr. Payne looked high and low, but he still couldn't see the 15 circus animals from his managree. Menagerie. Menagerie. And now I'll show you all the animals. Here, on. Hold it up. Gazelle, the gorilla, python, lion, alligator, monkey, hippo, tiger, camel. There's still more. Giraffe. The giraffe, ostrich, elephant, the bear. I think that's all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I missed the cheetah. There you go. Twelve animals. He ran. Wait. He ran around the alleyways. He searched the village square. He even checked the chicken coop. His animals weren't there. Mr. Payne was tuckered out. His heavy chest was heaving. The little red stepped up and said, I think your boat, I think your boat is leaving. Okay. He ran off in a fit of rage. The ship was leaving sight, so he jumped up in a rowboat and rowed with all his might.
And from that day, they like to say, his lives were free, free of pain. It was happy. It was a happy, peaceful place upon that isle in Maine. <laughs> the end. I hope you like the book. I hope to read you guys to you guys soon. Bye.